all Russ here, RVA TV. Welcome. Check it out. We just left, left that Pierce Ferry landing boat launch. Seen some of the rafters come in. Wasn't that cool? We're heading down to South Cove. We're right next to it. South Cove is a massive marina. It's about the only one on this end of the Mighty Lake Mead and look at the water, there is none. Oh man. I was here uh, two years ago, April of 2020. So let's go explore and there's not a soul here. Look at this, it's empty. It's abandoned, my goodness. Okay, well, let's go check her out. Yeah, there is absolutely not a soul here. My goodness. I see a couple cars way out. Let's go out to where we can camp. Oh, no. No camping. Look at this. You can't camp here anymore either. According to that sign. This was always a really cool boondocking area. This will wind us down towards the water, eventually. <laughs> yeah, let's see, it was uh, 2020, and about right here is about as far as I could come. My goodness. Here's a picture from 2020. There was all kinds of campers, RVs, buses. You could boondock here. Water was way up. Now look at it. I see some like porta potties way down. Looks like a couple cars with little boat trailers. So maybe they can still launch here. Huh. They got signage here. It says keep to the right. Okay. Huh. So they developed this a little bit. So you do have some access here at South Cove. But we are heading way down. My goodness. Yeah, two years ago we would, would have been wet. Water was way up, a lot higher then. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> I guess it's a boat launch. This is no parking after this. Okay, them guys are parked. a little sign well I'm gonna park anyway we'll just take a quick walk and then we'll get out of here my goodness it's rough too I don't know if I'd want to bring a boat on a trailer in here a little fishing boat you know jet ski maybe I don't see much of a ramp great place to fish oh man you could really fish all right let's get parked what do you say go for a little walk well in case you haven't heard lake mead is gone look at that that is wow what do they say 25 percent left and dropping there's the launch look at that my goodness we'll go over there we'll go check that too why not hey this is history historic low level 
Ooh, tire track. Someone got stuck down there. They say the mud right along the shoreline is like quicksand. You can sink in it. But this ground has been covered by water for, what, decades? Since they built the dam. What, took seven years to fill it back in the 30s? A little seashell remnants of what was. Let's walk down where these cars are. Pretty small boat trailer. So they're bringing in like a little aluminum fishing boat. You could bring something like that down here maybe, huh? Kayak, canoe. Big old rocks. <laughs> this thing is rough. I bet that was used for a launch for a while to the water kept dropping. Okay, I see some cones down here. Looks like I got it coned off. Two sets of cones, so you can launch here. After you go over all the rocks. Yeah, this is rough. Pretty rough area for boats. Plus, how can how deep is it when you back in? It's muddy. <laughs> you could get stuck. Wow, look at this. Hadn't been seen in decades. Looks like it drops off pretty quick. So if you had a small, like, aluminum boat, that's probably what these guys have, like fishing boats. You could just back in there and shove it off the trailer, huh? Wow. Still pretty here, though, isn't it? That's Nevada. <laughs> There's Nevada across the water. Arizona Nevada state line right here. Well, let's go to these other set of cones. Hey, at least you can still come down here. Do something with it. Someone's had a fire. Yeah, look how soft. Look at the footprints. You just sink. Hidden treasures. You can't metal detect at any of these places. They don't allow it. Especially by the boat launches. Probably find all kinds of goodies. Well, I see tire tracks. People have been backing up in here. Pretty muddy, though, if you got a loaded boat. Of course, big old 4x4 four four truck. What the heck? Wow. Oh, look at the tire track. Someone sunk in there, huh? Yikes. Good place to have a tow truck. There it is. Lake Mead's still here. You know, it's 120 miles long. But look at that over there. There's the dock. Oh, a car's over here. That's gone forever. How many feet you think that is dropping down there? Huh. We'll go over there. We'll check that.
Well, there's a channel buoy. Colorado's emptying into this thing. We've seen that over there at Pierce Ferry. But look how far up the van is. And this lake is still dropping. That's a pretty good sized trailer, so someone launched a pretty decent boat, but he's got a nice 4x4. Four four. But that dock is hanging down like that. What else could they do? Bet's a good place to fish right in here. I definitely need to get a pole back in the van and get my license. You can see them little guys jumping out there. <laughs> Definitely, I bet that's got to be a 40 foot drop, maybe 50. Oh no. There's no way they could extend it there. Well, let's drive over there. You know, this is still South Cove. It's a beautiful area, big mountains, gold country. Whatever the lake is left, it's left. You can still kayak, canoe, boat. You can't camp anymore. <laughs> Darn it. This was really good boondocking place. Pretty day, warm, Arizona summertime. Early July in uh, Arizona. Gets hot in the afternoons. Okay, down we go. End of the line, we'll walk down. I believe the only marina open on this entire lake is way up by uh, Boulder City. That Hennaway Marina. All the others. We're going to check. Uh, when we leave here, we say we'll go by, uh, was it Temple Bar? Check that marina. But yeah, there's no nothing more they could do here. They had to close it. Just too steep of a drop off. You know, if someone owned a crane, oh man, you could make a killing. Lifting boats in and out of the water, huh? Of course, the government probably wouldn't allow it. This is all government land here. Chunks of concrete. They just kind of blocked it off and said, that's it. Here's a fishing boat out there. The guy's out probably catching dinner. <laughs> What do you say? You want to walk down there? Well, someone's had campfires here, probably while they're fishing. Yeah, look at that old dock just laying there. Nothing you can do about it. Hopefully someday it'll float again. Kind of doubt it take a lot of years to fill this thing back up if they ever could. Bet there's all kinds of goodies in here though. 
very pocket change and watches, sunglasses, <laughs> whatever fell out of the boat when they were launching. Really not a bad place to have a little fire and camp out. That guy in that boat's checking me out. <laughs> That's a nice fishing boat. Wonder if he launched from over at that ramp. He had to have. That's a pretty rough ramp to take a nice boat in like that, but hey, what do I know? Yeah, this is a relic of the old lake. I don't see any barrels. That, that's a good thing. <laughs> There's some of the cables that held the dock. Okay, well, there you go. Here's South Cove. The abandoned dock in boat launch. Still a pretty place. I'd still come here. You could still day use this thing. Matter of fact, there's a picnic area. Let's go over to it's where, when you first come in. I used to go over there and sit and just enjoy the view. Look how steep this thing is. Goodness. A lot of boats got launched here. Here's a picture from 2020 when I was here. That you could still see cars and boats being launched. There's the dock floating that's laying on the ground. That was a water level in 2020. Absolutely amazing how fast the water's dropped here. They're just letting it go. Okay, let's go find that picnic area. Favorite little spot of mine. Right past the parking area, there should be a little road. Yep, I see it. Right here. It's a day use area. It was always a great place to park and enjoy a view and uh, I used to eat lunch here. <laughs> Pretty cool. All kinds of parking. Last time I was here it was full of RVs. here but us still got the restrooms open it looks like how about some preferred parking I'll have to check I think this was called Sandy Point something like that if I remember right And I sat right here and looked over the water and had a little lunch. Wow. <laughs> you can see the old water line. Of course, Mead's been down for a long, long time, but nothing like this. But a little barbecue here. 
what they call it, the bathtub ring, that white stain from the water. Still a pretty place. That's up that direction's where the Colorado comes in. We're at the close to the end of Mead here, Lake Mead. Then it flows for over a hundred miles all the way down to Hoover Dam. Well, here we go. <laughs> Once again, this is historic history. History a lot of people don't want, but it is. Big drought. It's a uh, talk of all the news channels. I live right here, right in this region. It affects us all here. Okay, well, oh look, another bus waiting for uh, more rafters. Someone said there's like a five or ten year waiting list to take one of those raft trips down to Colorado. I don't know. Be kind of cool to see it though. I don't know if I could do uh, five days of hardcore rafting like that though. That's quite a quite an effort. Okay, there's our Joshua Tree Forest there on the left. We're back on Pierce Ferry Road. This will take us over to Dolan Springs. There's a gas station out in the middle of nowhere. Right up here to the left is Stockton Hill Road. That's the way we came in from Kingman, but we're gonna head straight. We're gonna go up Temple Bar. Check it out. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>